What is up? I'm just hanging out with Maddie right now. I realized I didn't film a video or film an intro for uh, this uh, upcoming video. We're back at the property with the um, maple, the silver maple that was threatening the house, crack in the trunk. Uh, and we're just finishing that job up. This is the first job that we had the rips on. And not, uh, I keep saying that. This is uh, the first job that we had the uh, red beard on. And um, you know, there's some, it, it, enjoy the video. <laughs> I like and dislike things about that saw, but um, it's a powerful saw and I hope you enjoy. So yeah, let's get right into it. First cut. All right, first cut with the uh, Mark, Red Beard Mark III, the rippiest of rippers. Ready? Man, it sounds cool. It's not a line of travel, but... It's okay when you got a, the best ground guy. Best dude on the ropes. World's best. That thing cuts, dude. So I've got it through that redirect right there. Might have a little more friction. Yeah, this thing cuts. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> I do like how quiet electric ones are, but man, that is nice. It has so much power, it put a little bit of, like, it spun the chain with the chain brick on. Like, not like spin it, it just moved it forward a little bit. Yeah, holy cow. Are you ready? Still should be putting my undercuts in, but... Son of a bitch, get off there. It's not even in there. Might be able to come down now. No. So I think we handle all this and then come back and finish this out. I was going to try to edit this into the last video, but it's going to be a video of its own. This thing is, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's the first job, but um, he did a super good job on it. Uh, it's worth the wait. It was an eight week wait um, and it's pretty expensive. But if you look at the general cost of the chainsaw itself, you pay 300 bucks for the porting. And, um, you know, I haven't compared it to one that's not ported, 
Uh, I'll be brutally honest, I remember people out there on the internet saying like the smaller the, the, the CC of an engine, like the, they, they wonder if um, porting's worth it. So I would be curious to see um, this thing lined up next to one, next to a stock saw. Um, but I'm loving it. It's a great, it's, it's, <laughs> I'm loving it. It's a good, it's a good chainsaw so far. It's super ergonomic. It's, uh, it's not too heavy and um, it's well balanced. So feels good in the hand. The homeowners left, you said? Well, what are they doing? We don't get to have fun on our Sunday, neither do they. Heads up. I don't think. Does make me wish I had chainsaw pants on though, I will say that. <laughs> that thing's got some fucking power. That might actually be a downfall with uh, the electric chainsaws is like that thing's still gonna cut you pretty bad. They're easy to um I guess underestimate. So you're always paying attention to uh, where your rope is compared to where you're running, to where your lifeline is compared to your rigging rope. So I'm going to take, I'm worried about that rubbing right there. I'm going to take my zigzag, flip it around this union, and uh, that'll solve the issue. I was called out in one of my recent videos for staying in the line of uh, the limb I was rigging. Yeah. <laughs> so... There. Exactly. <laughs> what he, what Darren's saying down there is uh oh, what happened? Just broke. Something broke on the monkey beavers. A little plastic snap broke. But yeah. So point of the story is if the limb. I will stay in that line. I'm not too worried about the limb hurting me. Yeah, a little snap just broke on my monkey beaver suspenders. I'll show that. That was a freaky feeling. <laughs> Never good when you feel something snap on your gear. Check it out. Right here, this thing broke. So, that sucks. All right, you ready, Darren? It's pretty small. down there yelling at me to take this entire thing so we're gonna <laughs> he wants to go home early apparently <laughs> are you ready sissy <laughs> Nice work, brother!
big, dude. So, be prepared for that. All right, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's pretty big. It's pretty big. <laughs> Gonna handle it by hand, huh? <laughs> nice work man <laughs> how do you feel about this top laying across the lawn going that way another one down here. It's a monster. It's the rippiest of rippers.
nuts. All right, so um, cool. Yeah, that Redbeard chainsaw, the 540T Mark III. That thing is a monster. Um, you know, this is the first job we had it on, but extreme. I, so I don't know all the um, quarks. So I don't know like all the quarks and weird things that might go on with the chainsaw. So um, I don't have a uh, very. My opinion is only in a first opinion, and it's a great first opinion. Um, downsides are we had to wait eight weeks for it, but it's a one-man show as far as I understand. Um, and the porting, you're only paying 300 bucks more. I think it's 300 bucks more. It's been a while since I looked at that. Um, for the, yeah, 300 bucks more than the price of the chainsaw. So uh, if you're debating on it, I would say grab one, pick one up, because uh, it turned me into a believer. I always kind of thought ported saws were a fad, but that thing rips.